the early days of the West, a stagecoach driver's job was a hazardous one. In addition to the grueling miles of hard trail, he was always in danger of attack by outlaw bands. Vicious men robbed and plundered for personal gain. Such an outlaw group was the one led by Frank Cameron, a man who in the short space of two months wrote a violent chapter in the history of crime in the Southwest. Cameron gang strikes again. The newspaper headlines told the story as Cameron and his men rode across the state, attacking stages, banks, and express companies. The smallest stage lines, regardless of the amount of cash or gold they carried, were hit by the ruthless outlaws. Posses of experienced lawmen, vigilantes, and angry citizens in all walks of life pursued the Cameron gang throughout the area to no avail. The outlaws were clever enough to elude the most carefully laid traps. As large and small businesses alike were crushed by the violence of Cameron's crime wave. Few outlaws, however, had enough nerve and ability to attack a federal stage shipment, unless the stakes were high enough. But one million dollars in gold was high enough to attract Frank Cameron. Here they come. And one day on the narrow canyon road, he waited with his men, ready to attempt the biggest crime of his career. The attack was well planned. And the outlaws hit fast and effectively. But this time Cameron's luck had run out, and although he had time to dispose of the gold, he was not clever enough to elude the determined posse that rode his trail. And so within 48 hours after the daring robbery, trapped in the Dead End Canyon, the outlaw trio surrendered. The violent career of crime had come to an end, and Frank Cameron and his men rode out to face trial, knowing they had no chance of defense against the hundreds of angry victims who had long awaited this moment. A few days later at our campsite in a deserted barn just outside the state capitol, I waited for Tonto to return with the results of the trial. Kind of like that, don't you, big fellow? I love it, Kimasabi. Cameron Gang sentenced to five years in prison. Did anyone confess to where the gold was hidden? Oh, them not talk. Them questioned by many lawmen. Them say them never tell where gold hidden. Well, I guess they figure a million dollars is worth five years of their life. Ah, them pick up gold and them get out of prison. That gold was slated for state funds. It's vitally important that it be recovered. You have plan? Yes, Tano, I have. We've got to get someone inside the prison to gain the gang's confidence. Then maybe Cameron will tell us just where the gold is hidden. Well, that'd not be easy, Kimasabe. They're plenty smart. Maybe no a trap. It would have to be someone with the reputation of an outlaw. Someone they wouldn't suspect. I'm afraid we don't have many outlaw friends. Uh, me know a man for a job. Uh, who? Me, uh, me be plenty mean. If newspaper help us, me get big reputation as outlaw, then go to prison. It would be dangerous, Tonto. Me know that, but me not worry. We face danger many times. First, we must get the governor's approval of our plan. And governor, our friend, maybe him help us. Oh, I'm sure he will. He's just as anxious to get that gold back as anyone in the state. We'll explain the details of our plan. Then it'll just be a matter of time. I'll get Silver saddled. <laughs> Million dollar outlaws captured, gold still missing. As you know, those men have been in prison for six months and still the gold hasn't been recovered. We're staking everything on this plan of yours. I do hope it succeeds. We're ready to do our best, Governor. I'm sure of it. But again, I must impress on you the importance of your mission. Everything depends upon your success. We realize that, sir. The preliminary work has all been done. Though I never thought my friend Tonto would be playing such a part. Me, plenty bad fellow. Governor, you've done a thorough job. Now, when do you want Tonto to enter prison? This will answer your question. Red Dog captured. Sentenced to prison. I'm me ready, Kimisabe. That's what we wait for. Of course you realize that once in prison, you'll be on your own. 
We'll help to make your escape as authentic as possible. But it is your job to convince the prisoners that it's on the level. Tato knew the dangers when he offered his services. Uh, one of outlaws part Indian. Me hope him be easy to convince. When outlaws get chance for freedom, me think them lead Tonto to gold. Your role will be difficult, too. After the prison break, you'll both be in danger. Those men are killers. The future of your state is more important than any personal risk. Our plan must succeed. Thank you. Governor. Tonto. Well, Tonto, this is where we part company. Ah, uh, me go to meet prison guards. Everything is arranged. They'll put you in the cell block with Cameron and his gang. Now, once inside the prison, don't make your move too fast. You've got to gain the confidence of the gang. Me be plenty patient, Kimi Sabe. Me be in no hurry. Frank Cameron will beg Red Dog to help him escape. You go to camp near prison? Yes. I'll keep in touch with the contact man inside the prison. When you're ready to make your break, I'll be all set to play my part. Uh, you use name of Stark? Right. Good luck. Be careful, Tom. Yes, Kimi Sabe. Hey, Jed, open up. Got a new customer for you. Him, all right, Frank. <laughs> well, we got some real class in this place now. Hey, Red Dog. I thought I read someplace where you'd never be caught. Red Dog not be here long. Me get out. Nobody gets out of this prison, Indian, unless it's in a pine box. Hey, Red Dog. You gonna escape? You got plan? <laughs> He's probably got some secret Indian trick, Redo. That right, Red Dog? <laughs> you gonna squeeze out through a crack in the wall? <laughs> Let all you want, white man. Red Dog be free while you rot himself. Lay off him, Billy. Maybe he has got something up his sleeve. Red Dog's smart man. When we time he gets out is when his sentence is up. And according to what the judge said, that'll be 40 years from now. I think we got a long time to wait for five years. Yeah, we got something to wait for. You talk too much. Red Dog, my name's Frank Cameron. I'd like to be friends with you. Red Dog, not one friend. Oh, don't pay no attention to Billy here. He's a little unhappy being cooped up so long. I think I can help you, Red Dog. Red Dog, <laughs> sleep, no talk. You can trust me. That's Rado. He'll tell you I'm a fair man. And I got some angles that might help. That's right, Red Dog. Frank is good man with Indian. Red Dog, it might pay you to listen to me. Red Dog. How's it going, Red Dog? Still the silent treatment, huh? I don't blame you for not trusting people. I'm the same way myself. But we're both in here for breaking the law, and that ought to give us something in common. Maybe. Maybe you only want me to take you with me when Nick escape. What's so wrong with that? Red Dog do things alone, not need help from anyone. I can offer you something in return. Me and the boys have got a fortune hidden on the outside. Now who's shooting his mouth off? I'm running things, Billy. Outside or inside. Get it? Yeah, I get it. I figure it's worth a cut to get out of this place. How about it, Red Dog? Quarter of a million dollars in gold, if you take us with you. That's a lot of gold. You heard about that million dollar federal gold robbery? That was us, Red Dog. I figured the whole job. The law tried to get us to break, but we didn't tell them a thing. It's all there waiting for us on the outside. It proves to here? I'll show you where it is, and part of it's yours. If we all get out together. Let me think it over. Maybe it's not easy for so many to get out. No, forget it, Frank. He ain't got brains enough to break out. You call Red Dog stupid for him? I didn't mean nothing. Look, if you got plan, let's have it all. We've heard for more than a week as a talk. Let me think it over. Decided. Listen close to what me say. We not miss a word, friend. Tomorrow we work on North Wall. There'll be ladder there where two of us work. At two o'clock, one or two guards be there. Others be at South Wall where there be trouble. Red Dog has fun with the horses and guns on the other side of Wall. When me give signal, we go over. Now, how did you arrange all that? Me have contact inside prison. Him get word out to bring enough horses and guns for all of us. Red Dog say we sleep now. 
Indian always have rest before I go into battle. Think white man use good sense to do same thing. Yeah, but well, what about this friend of yours, Indian? You heard the man. We're gonna sleep. Now shut that mouth of yours and sleep. Don't get any ideas, pal. One more step and you come down on your back. All of you, get to work. This ain't no sewing circle. All right. Break it to that wall. Go ahead. I'll watch these men here. All right, you. Come on down. Now, over the wall. He's working. Come on, Red Dog. I've been waiting here hours. You pay to wait. What about guns? You got them? Don't get anxious, kid. I take orders from Red Dog. Give men guns. Well, I guess you know what you're doing. They're hanging on the saddle horns. You got a name, friend? Yeah. Stark. Stark, huh? Now, looks like you've been cut up real good, Stark. Who did it? A wise kid like you who asks too many questions? You don't ask him no more. Which way we ride for gold? You just ride, Red Dog. I'll lead the way. Well, Tano, it looks as if our plan is working. Ah, uh, but we must be careful of one name, Billy. I'll watch him. It's getting awful hot, Frank. How far we gotta go? Oh, a couple more hours. We'll stop when we get out of this country. What's the matter, Stark? Ain't you thirsty? You're saving your water for that fancy horse of yours. Kid, I learned a long time ago. Too much water in this hot sun is bad for a man. You know, I wish I could figure out what it is about you, Stark. That voice of yours. Now, what is it, Billy? You looking for trouble again? No, oh, it's his voice, Frank. There's uh, just something about it. I've been thinking about it ever since we started riding. Ah, oh, you've been cooped up in jail so long, you've been hearing the voices in your head. I don't know. Much more of this son, and the kid's liable to think I'm his long-lost brother. Come on, let's ride. here. Ghost town of Rimrock ahead. That's where you hide gold? That's right, but don't get any ideas. It'd take you five years to find it without the help of me and my boys. Good thing we stash supplies, too. I'm hungry. Stark. <laughs> Billy, you gone nuts? No, I just got smart. Touch it near dead, Redskin. Watch him, Rayo. What is it, Billy? I just figured out who our friend Stark really is. And this will prove it. Silver bullets. Silver bullets? That's right. He's the Lone Ranger. It all fell into place when I remembered where I'd seen that white stallion of his. The Lone Ranger travels with Indian. The Indian I ride with is smart. Red Dog here is stupid. I tricked him just like I tricked you. You die for this white man. Cut the act, Redskin. You're both gonna die. Hold it, Billy. I know a way Red Dog can prove he's on the level. Yeah, how? Kill him. Cut a million dollars, Red Dog killed ten men.
Red Dog took good care of him. Now let's ride. Hold it, Frank. I'm gonna stick my claim on that white stay in his. Forget. Red Dog's right, Billy. Take it easy. Not a one-man horse, Billy. You never get it. Yeah, and you're lucky he didn't get you. Come on, let's go. You can buy a hundred horses like that after you get your cut of the gold. like a bank, does it, boys? Gold here? That's right, friend. A million dollars worth. Look, all I'm interested in right now is food. Let's eat. I'll go for that. We can spend the gold any time. Red Dog, not wait. Want gold now. All right, Red Dog, if that's the way you want it, you'll get what's coming to you. into cash, it'll all add up to a million Yankee dollars. Come on, take a look at it. Go on, it's part yours. It isn't often a man gets to see that much gold at one time. Looks good, don't it? Like I told you, you'll get what's coming to you. Hold it! silver bullet I took from you? Well, it's in my gun. And you're gonna die with it. Right now. I'm coming, Billy. Don't you. Don't you. Let's join your friends. It's a long trip back to the state prison. I'll get going. The people of this state owe you both a deep debt of gratitude. Well, Governor, we're glad we could help. If you ever need us again, please let us know. Uh, all four of us. Four? 
Oh, red dog, stark too. Them plenty mean outlaws. But when you get to know them, I'm not bad fellows. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Santo. Young man, history will be proud of Tonto and the Lone Ranger. <laughs>